everybody. We're back with the former director of the FBI and the author of Saving Justice, James Comey. In, in the book, you also write about the Clinton email investigation again. Why did you want to revisit that? Have, have you changed your thoughts over whether you did the right thing? No, I really didn't want to revisit it. It's a nightmare from which I can't awaken, but I couldn't talk about the importance of transparency and of operating in a way without political influence in investigations without at least touching that in a brief way as I do. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything except I wouldn't be involved or had a magic wand, but I can't, even if I could travel back in time, I can't make a decision based on politics, as painful as that is. And Donald Trump's presidency has been a source of enormous pain for all of us, including me. Did you did you watch the uh, Showtime special with Jeff Daniels as as Jim Comey? I did. What did you think? Did, was that did, was it accurate? It was accurate. I, I the only feedback I gave him is he should have acted taller, and he said there's only so much they can do. But I, I was intimidated by that he was playing me, and I I actually was very emotional watching it. It brought back the pain of the Clinton email situation and and my interactions with Trump. He captured that pain. And the values of the Department of Justice and the FBI in, a, in an amazing way. He's a credible talent. What about uh, Brendan Gleeson, right? Brendan Gleeson is the actor who played Donald Trump. I had never seen a depiction of Donald Trump that wasn't in any way comedic. Yeah. And, I, and I found it uh, powerful and chilling. Was that accurate to the man you saw behind closed doors? Yes. I was only on set one day, and it was to watch them filmed a loyalty dinner. So just me against Trump, as you mentioned, seven days after he took office. And what Gleason captured is the menace, the private menace of Donald Trump that most people don't get to see. Again, without satire, without overplaying it, he communicated the menace of this La Cosa Nostra boss who is our president. And it was so powerful, it actually left me with a sick feeling in my stomach. In, in, in the book on page 188, you write, I tried to limit my contact with the president Avoiding the, quote, eye of Sauron, as I explained to my staff. Okay, if Trump was Sauron, who are you in this scenario? You're so tall, I want to guess Treebeard, but do, do you picture yourself as any other character from Lord of the Rings? No, I'm, I'm, I'm born to be one of the Ents. I don't know whether I would be Treebeard, but I, I'm one of the Ents. And hope to blend into the forest like I try to do with my blue suit. You, you ended our last interview, which was, I think, 17 years ago, if I count the rings uh, uh, in my soul, uh, by saying you're optimistic that this country's values are strong enough that we will not only survive this, we will thrive. Are you still optimistic as we face the present crisis? I am. I am. I, I think, in a way, this will serve as the inflection point that we needed so badly. And you see it in some of the movement in the early public opinion surveys. I think that... That those people lost in the fog of fraud, of lies, more and more of them will leave that fog because of events like this. And the rest of us will be awakened to this thing that Benjamin Franklin was right when he said that our founders gave us a republic. Madam, if you can keep it, we have to keep it. And this is the moment to remind ourselves of that. Um, in final question, in October of 2019, you told the New York Times, I have a fantasy about January 21st, 2021, deleting my Twitter and moving on to something else. We are now nine, eight, how many days? Eight days away. Do you still feel like that? I do, but I feel like one of those movies where that date is moving away from me. It's going to be a very long eight days for all of us. But when that day comes, the 21st comes, I, I uh, look forward to moving on to something else. What, what, what's next? What, what else are your plan? More books? No. Well, I'm done writing books about the government. I'll tell you that. I'm going to teach. I've signed up to teach at Columbia. Okay. And so I'll be teaching uh, law students and business students and other students, which is something I've always loved. And then I'll figure out what I want to do beyond that. Um, well, Director, thanks for being here. Um, his book, Saving Justice, Truth, Transparency, and Trust, is available now. James Comey, everybody. We'll be right back with the star of Riverdale, Lily Reinhart. Thanks for being here, Director.